right, you guys, we just got the Finn's pet grooming appointment. He is pretty excited, and it's freezing cold outside. Let's go get you groomed, puppy. All right, you guys, Finn's in there getting cleaned. They're doing a awesome job. So I'm gonna say bye to Finn. See you, dude. A few moments later. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. He looks so good. <laughs> Come here, puppy. Guys, look how good he looks. He looks like our little lamb again, don't you, Finley? Come on, treat. Yeah. Wait. 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 Okay. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> he is so stinking cute. I was telling Brittany just last night, he is just so cute. Whenever he gets his treat, he just kind of like prances away. And whenever he follows me, he kind of has just like this little like prance. Anyway, we've got Finn all trimmed up. He's looking good. Now I have a pretty busy day. Sean and I are gonna go meet with our design team. And then Brittany, as you guys know, she is getting her post put in today, which is a little nerve wracking only because last time she had any work done on her teeth, she had major canker. So really, really hoping and praying that she doesn't have any canker. All right, I gotta head down. So I gotta say goodbye to Finn and see you later to you guys. Bye, Kenny. See you soon. It is pretty early in the morning. Jared and I got an early start this morning. So he was a peach and took sweet little Finn to the groomers. His appointment was at seven this morning. I feel pretty productive today. I got up, I worked out, I just did a home workout and then got showered, got ready. I just pulled into my office and it is about 7.30. It's almost the weekend, which is always a good thing, right? We have a lot going on this weekend. So much, so many fun things. Tomorrow night is Friday and we have a Christmas party with the Bingham side of the family, which is gonna be super fun. We're going over to Brandon and Mindy's and so stay tuned for that because you're not gonna want to miss out on that where we reveal our secret Santas. So I have a busy day at work today. For anyone that's new to our channel or who doesn't know, so I am in recruiting. So I'm over recruiting for our company and we have a lot of open positions. So that falls onto me. So I have a ton of interviews today. So I'm getting an early morning start because I have my dentist appointment today, you guys, for my implant. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll have Jared link the video where you can get all caught up on my dental journey. So exciting, I know. But I'm crossing my fingers. It goes smoothly today because the last time I had some dental work done, I had a disaster of a story and the recovery took forever and it was just not a good thing. So I'm really hoping today goes smooth. I get my post put in today. So it's kind of the first step for an implant. So I'm gonna bring you guys in there for maybe a little bit. We'll see how brave I am. And then also I need to check and make sure it's okay with the dentist. Stay tuned, busy day ahead. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your day as well. And I will see you in a little bit. I gotta show you guys, I'm loving these knee high boots. I got these from Target last year, but I think knee high boots are so cute with just jeans. Hours later. All right, everybody, I'm back in the car again. It's about 10.30 in the morning now. I got some calls done, got some interviews going, which is great, but I'm here in the parking lot at my appointment. And I don't wanna walk in because I don't wanna have it happen. <laughs> I'm kind of stalling a little bit. <laughs> I'm just nervous. Just based off of kind of everything I went through last time, I'm just not looking forward to this, but I know it'll be great. I'm gonna have my tooth back eventually. I'm gonna be brave, I'm gonna go in there, and we'll see if he'll let me do any video in there. So let's go. Getting everything pressed. I got my fun little bib on here. They asked if I wanted to watch Netflix. I said yes. Anything to distract me from what's gonna be going on in here. So I'll show you guys. Here's the before. So what they're gonna be doing is putting in my post. And luckily I don't need a bone graft, which is nice. So it shouldn't take too long. So they'll put in the post and then I guess that has to heal for about four months. And then we will put in the implant. Oh. <laughs> All right guys, they 
just numbed me. Isn't the numbing the funniest part when you go to the dentist? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gotta love that side smile. One hour later. I can't take myself seriously when I'm numb like this. Oh my gosh. It's over and I made it. I survived. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Sorry, I didn't film during it. Basically what they did is they numbed me up really good. Obviously, you can tell. <laughs> So after that, he drilled into my bone, which that was a crazy feeling. Luckily, I was pretty numb, so it just kind of felt like pressure, but you could hear it quite a bit, which didn't love. They drilled into the bone, and then from there, I got some uh, spit coming out of the side of my <laughs> Gross! You know what? If you just want to keep clicking on next to your next vlog, you're going to watch. Go right ahead. No need to watch this one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, give this video a thumbs up, you guys, if you are being entertained while watching me talk sideways. Because it's kind of funny. So he drilled into my bone. From there, he put the post in. And it almost felt like he was ranking it down. He put some device in. I couldn't quite tell exactly what he was doing, but he was cranking it down so it was, I guess, implanted into my bone, which is kind of crazy. It hurt a little bit at times, but I was pretty numb. He put the little cap on and I did feel like some sharp pain then. And so I told him he came and put on, I guess, a different size of the little thing that screws on there. And it felt immediately way better because at first I was kind of nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, is this how it's going to feel for a while? Because it hurt pretty bad. But he took the other one off because I guess it was rubbing the side. So he switched that out and then I'm good to go. So I just stopped by Walgreens. I had some medication to fill that he gave me. He put me on an antibiotic and then prescribed some pain medicine as well because he says it'll be pretty sore. I have to try and chew on this side and then I just need to watch for like any inflammation or swelling because I was like what's normal what's not normal you always kind of wonder that right when you get things done is what to watch for I always ask after I go in and see them he told me just make sure it's not swelling the antibiotics will make sure I, I don't get any infections which hopefully cross my fingers I don't and so I should be good to go. He said it's gonna be pretty sore for the next few days. I'll kind of take it easy. He said to put some ice on it as well. And then I go back in four months. That is it, you guys, not too bad at all. My dentist is amazing. He did a great job. So I'm gonna take some medicine and then I have to head back to work. And I'm really hoping that this goes away before I get there. Or if not, at least I'll give my coworkers something to smile about, or halfway smile about. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm done. We'll see you in a bit. Meanwhile. I am currently on my way to go see the new Star Wars movie. Pretty excited. I've always liked going to the movies and I actually got the tickets for free, which is really cool. It's through a client appreciation event right now, but I am going with a friend of mine because Brittany did not want to go. Plus she just had her post put in today, so she's not really feeling up for it, but I'm pretty excited. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I am curious, are you guys more of a Star Wars fan or a Star Trek fan? later home sweet home oh guys <gasps> Philly. oh my goodness oh did mommy give you a little sweater huh you look like a sienna dude let's go find mommy mommy over here one second i think mommy might be sleeping one second all right you guys i just got back Britt is asleep i gotta show you this thing real quick that she got finn look how cute this puppy looks He's totally like a Santa's helper. Anyways, you guys, that movie was awesome. I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone because I know there's probably a few of you out there that wanna see it, so don't worry, there's not gonna be any spoilers here, but it was definitely, seriously, way good. If you guys are even semi into Star Wars, I would totally go see it. Even if you're not into Star Wars, I would still go see it. There is so much action, and there's just so many new things that I've never seen in any of the Star Wars movies before, and I've seen all of them up until now, and in my opinion, it's the best Star Wars movie I've ever seen. Huge shout out to my buddy Lowell and his company for putting the whole thing on. They gave us a gift when we all walked in, it was like, these blankets or whatever. I actually got mine right here. Check this out. Look at that. This is a nice blanket. I think we found your new favorite blanket. Yeah. Oh, nice and soft, huh? But guys, I do need to show you this because when I got home, there was two secret Santa sightings for Brittany and I. I got a gift and so did she. 
This is an A&W ice cream float root beer kit, which I think is absolutely awesome. It comes with two mugs right here, and then it comes with root beer as well as a dessert topper, which is awesome. And then Brittany got spoiled. Look at this stuff. She got all sorts of bathroom goodies here. All right, guys, I'm gonna be signing off here soon, but definitely be stick around because we have some fun plans for this weekend. We have a Bingham family Christmas party tomorrow where we are going to be revealing who has each other for Secret Santa. This is your last chance to put in your guesses for who you think has us for Secret Santa. So comment down below who you think has us for Secret Santa. And also comment down below who you guys think we have for our Secret Santa, so who Brittany and I are serving. And then literally the very next day we have a family Christmas party for Brittany's family. So definitely stick around because we have some fun stuff planned for this weekend. Plus if you guys are new to the channel, definitely subscribe, turn on those notification bells because you don't want to miss out on this. It's way too much fun. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us. We love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.